Hi guys, this is Gregor from Personas and I want to wish all of you a very Merry Christmas. This is the last episode of Studio One with Gregor for the year. And Christmas and New Year is the time, you know, to enjoy the simple things in life, to get together with friends and family and also to share some gifts. And I have a small gift for you today, which is my macro page for the new year 2022. In case you're new to macros, what even are macros in Studio One? Essentially, those are customized shortcuts where you can summarize multiple shortcuts in just one and trigger a sequence of events, so to say. A great example for Macro has recently been featured in one of Joe's videos where he's shown that he finds it a bit redundant to first select his tracks, then add a bus for the selected channels, then double click this bus and then renaming it. Um, especially when you do that like eight times in a row, it can be very tiring. And instead you can summarize all of that in a handy little macro so that you can then trigger this entire series of commands from just one button click or one keyboard shortcut, like so. Bam. Now that is just one example for a macro and essentially you can build them yourself but it is a bit cumbersome and requires a bit of practice. So if you just download these from somebody it's like you're suddenly adding a brilliant new set of features to Studio One and that's exactly what I hope that my macro page can provide you with. You can find it directly on Personas Exchange. So go to Studio One's browser, go to the Clouds tab, log into Personas Exchange with a double click and then you can Either click on the magnifying glass here at the top, you can also hit Command and F or Control and F on Windows respectively, and then type in GPY 2022 and it should take you straight to my macro page. Install that with one single click and then click here on this macro icon to open it up. If you can't see it already, then just click on this page indicator and you should be able to find it. There's actually several macro pages that you can load. And let's take a look at some of my very favorites. I'm going to do an extensive walkthrough of all of the functionalities of this macro page on Personosphere next month. But as I said, the macro page is free. So let's take a look. I love navigation show all, for instance, because no matter where you are in your arrangement, even if you're zoomed in all the way, there's no need to, you know, start scrolling around to get back uh, to an overview of your song. You can just click here to show all. You can also assign a keyboard shortcut if you don't want to click on the button. And as you can see, the entire song arrangement is back in perfect horizontal and vertical focus. We can also use loop and zoom. So if you have a selection here, you can click that. It's gonna set your loop range to the selected event or events and put that into horizontal and vertical focus as well. If you trigger that again, it takes you straight back to your previous zoom state. If you have a lot of folders expanded like this, then the fold all command can also be very useful to just regain a clean overview of your song as a whole. If you work with stems a lot, then this one might be very useful to you. I've been using this one for years and it took me quite a while to come up with the sequence. Hopefully it's going to be as useful to you as it has been to me over the years. Um, essentially what this does is after you've drawn in your arranger sections, which by the way, you can also name with this handy little section page here to pre-verse, verse, dry section, bridge, whatever you need then this macro will split all of the stems or all of the present events at the borders of these sections automatically. Normally what you would have to do is just, you know, do all of that with the split tool. But if you just click split as sections, it's going to do a full arrangement align and everything is going to get cut. You can just fold everything again and now you can see all of these cuts have been made. Another one that I find quite useful is in the select menu. It's select parts in between selections. Sometimes it can be a little bit difficult to select two events with other events adjacent to them. So uh, often I see users even, you know, just taking some of these out in pure despair, making the selection and then hit undo. But there's no need. Just select the first one that you want to select, then the last one, and then go to select parts in between. There's also a great way to quickly add a reverse revert. This is something that electronic music producers love to do. Um, usually you'd have to reverse your audio, you'd have to apply the reverb and then reverse the audio again, which can be quite annoying if you want to do that several times in the song. So what you can do instead is just grab the event that you want, go to event effects, hit reverse reverb. You can also do duplicate whole track without events first to give yourself 
you know, the opportunity to just layer the original with that reverse reverb and then just duplicate the event, hit reverse reverb, the macro like so, it's going to do the entire job for you and then align to taste with the original one. Before it sounded like this and now it sounds like this. Super easy, super quick, thanks to this macro page. Now there's a bunch more macros in here that I'm sure you're going to find very useful. For instance, there's one that allows you to not just hide, but also deactivate unused tracks in your session so that they're not just hidden from view, but also stop eating up CPU performance. There's also some very handy node macros that allow some easy selection of, let's say, every second node in the selected node part or every third node, every fifth node. There's different ways where you can delete and paste time, like if you just need a bit more space in your arrangement. This is also incredibly handy. And this is really just a small selection of my favorite features in this macro page. Uh, I'm going to do a full rundown of all of them on Persona Sphere next month, as mentioned. And if you're not a Persona Sphere member yet, then perhaps you should consider subscribing and becoming a member for maybe a month or so. Just see how you like it. You'll always get the latest version of Studio One Professional and all of our plugins, as well as some amazing community and collaboration collaboration features, cloud storage, but also a ton of exclusive videos with so much more content than here on YouTube, also much more extensive and in-depth. So if you like our tutorials here on YouTube, you should definitely give Personos here a shot. And with that, thank you so much for watching. Merry Christmas and see you next year.